Hey, what's up, everybody? The aftermath of July 29th, 2021, when the Type 2 proof gold American Eagles went on sale from the United States Mint. What I want to talk about in this video is if you were one of them who bought these coins to actually make money to flip on the secondary market, maybe you flip to Pinehurst Coins, maybe you flip to another dealer was it worth it was it worth the time the effort now i really want to talk about selling on ebay if your intention was to maximize your profit sell on ebay try to get as much coin as possible was it worth it that's what i want to talk about now i did the math i did the math i have the numbers right here in front of me and i went with the most recent sales so that's what we're going to talk about in this video let's get on with it let's not waste any time let's get on with it let's go over to ebay let's see how these coins are selling and was it worth the time the money the effort and a little bit of stress by the way all right so we are on ebay it is the very next day it is early in the morning and i am drinking my tim hortons coffee and i was going over the sales on ebay doing some math and we're going to talk about this now i made a video yesterday saying what was my plans and my plan yesterday and i stuck to my plans and that was to buy nothing Basically, we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about the sales. Let's talk about the sales. So let's start with this. Let's say you were able to buy all four coins individually. Let's say you bought all four coins individually because you decided that all four coins individually, selling them together, you bought them individually because that would have maximized your profit so we have that actually so that's exactly what this is right here this is the four coin set but they're all individual this is someone who bought them all individually popped them on ebay and sold them the one ounce the half ounce the quarter ounce the one tenth ounce this had a best offer and let's just say i believe this is i believe ebay now does show you what the best offer is so i believe the best offer actually was six thousand three hundred ninety five dollars so six thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars now if you add up all the coins individually from when they went on sale from the united states mint add them all up the one ounce the half ounce the quarter ounce the one tenth ounce you add them up and it comes out to five thousand one hundred and five dollars now what i did was i took that six hundred three hundred and ninety five dollars subtracted ten percent now ebay no longer deals with paypal so i'm not going to say 13 percent. i'm just in this case i'm just going to say 10 percent. i'm not exactly for sure what the fees are right now with ebay but we're just going to go on the low end and say 10 percent. so the profit on this would have been after the ebay fees would have been as long as i'm doing my math correctly and you know it could be flawed in some way but it seems like the profit on this auction right here would have been let's just say after the 10 percent, it would have came out to five thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars for a profit of six hundred and fifty dollars now that's not including shipping now when you ship coins it's a big question mark whether precious metals are insured or not no matter how you ship them through usps but i believe the best way to ship from what i have heard and i don't do this often i don't do this often because i don't like the stress of wondering if six thousand dollars is going to get lost in the mail and if it's going to be covered but i believe it is sending out certified mail now i'm sure certified mail sharing it for six grand is not going to be very cheap payout yes uh six hundred and fifty dollars minus whatever the shipping fees are let's say it's i don't know with certified mail be about a hundred bucks insuring six thousand dollars 
it seems like this may have been the best way to go is to buy them all individually and then possibly to sell them individually or group them together and sell them in one lot just like this. Not too bad, but I'm just not sure for me, 650 bucks is totally worth it. And then again, minus the shipping fees and all of that. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go up to the one ounce. The one ounce, what I did the math on, the eBay sales that was $3,247. So this is the one here. I went with the higher one. This one here was a little bit lower, but I went with the higher one. Sold for $3,247 minus the eBay 10% fees. That would have been $2,922. Then subtract the price that it cost on the United States Mint website, which was $2,700. The payout for that would have been $222 plus the factor that you have to pay for shipping it. So take that as what it is. What would have been for shipping? Maybe the profit would have been $150 after the cost for shipping. Now, I suppose people who sell these could go the cheap route and not pay for the certified mail and not pay for the signature. And, you know, that would have been, that's the ultimate risk taker right there is to just ship it uh, priority mail and not pay for you know everything that would hopefully ensure that if it got lost that you would have been covered hopefully i'm still not convinced or still not 100 percent sure that no matter how you ship these through usps that at the end of the day if it got lost that any of this would 100 percent be covered let's just hope that that's it but that's why i'm not a huge risk taker with high dollar items like this i just don't like taking that type of risk i like to flip when i do flip things that's why i like to flip to my local coin shop a lot less stress maybe a little bit less profit but a lot less stress and a lot less of the risk all right so how about the half ounce so here is the half ounce that i based all of my uh, math off of so in this one here sold for $1,950 minus the eBay fees, this would have been $1,755. The, uh, the item on the Mint's webpage cost $1,375. So without any kind of shipping or anything like that, the profit is $195. Now, obviously, you got to pay for shipping, probably certified mail. So what would this, I mean, let's just say the shipping was 50 bucks, $60 for shipping. So you're profiting approximately $140, maybe $140. I'm not 100% sure how much the shipping and insuring it for that dollar amount would have been but i'm assuming it would have been about 140 dollars assuming that you didn't take the cheap way of doing it hopefully not um because we want to be protected when we're mailing out these high dollar items we want to be as as protected as possible in case because let's face it usps they're a part of the government and anytime our government gets involved in anything most of the time, it's not so good. It's not so good. So I like, I, that's why I'm always nervous when doing this. So let's go take a look real quick at the one tenth ounce. The one tenth ounce is selling for about $400. This cost $315 from the United States Mint. After eBay fees, the profit is about $45 and that unfortunately is not including shipping so that's why i really don't get into the one tenth ounce this kind of stuff because the profit margin is just not there now this is the reason why i did not purchase anything from the united states mint yesterday i did purchase the type one four coin set from the united states mint back in march those coins went on sale 
And my plan was to flip it to my local coin shop because that's the way when I flip things, I rather take the least amount of stress, the least amount of uh, risk. And I like to flip it to my local coin shop and they pay pretty comparable to eBay to other, you know, big dealers. So when I took my type one set to the local coin shop and they wanted to give me, I believe it was at the time, $350 profit. My thinking behind that was I like the coins more than I like that $350 profit. So I kept the coins and I still have the coins. And that's why I did not do this yesterday. I knew that if I would have made this purchase, I did not have the money to keep these coins and I would have had to have sold them. And to me, the profit was just not there. One, my local coin shop is closed for a few weeks because of a flood they had and they're going through restorations of their coin shop. So they're not open. They're gonna be closed for another three weeks. So I wouldn't have had that option to have flipped these to my local coin shop, even if I wanted to. And I think that once I received these coins in the mail, I would have wanted to keep them versus making these tiny profits. I probably wouldn't have bought the four coins individually, all of them together. I probably would have went with the four coin set if I did anything or either that or I would have went with a quarter ounce or a one ounce. And really, I would have wanted to get them all if I did that. And then I would have probably have chose to keep them versus selling them. And I just did not have the funds at the time. So I chose to not purchase anything. But in my opinion, I don't know. You let me know. You let me know. Are these profit margins worth it to flip these high dollar coins expensive coins and to take the risk shipping them off in the mail you let me know i'm going to keep my opinions to myself let me know what you guys think in the comment section below please like comment subscribe and i will talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone